Hey guys, what's going on? We've just rocked up here at the International Protein Facility. I'm gonna have a chat to Troy, the owner, take you guys around, and you guys can have a little bit of a look at what goes on behind the scenes. I'm here with Troy, the owner of International Protein. We're here in his world-class facility. As you can see, it's fairly large. Um, we're gonna take a look around today. Troy's gonna walk us through a little bit of the process and what goes on behind the scenes. It's good to have you on, go on board, guys. I'm here every day, so to me, this isn't that special, but it's always good to have Josh down, and it's always exciting to show people what we do here, because a lot of people don't really know. Okay, Josh, here we have the main aisle for International Protein. With chocolates, vanillas, and bananas, we hold about two days worth of stock here. Yeah, sure. With some of the other flavors like Turkish Delight, which we've just made chopped raspberry, and cookies and cream that, we hold about a week and a half to two, to two weeks stock. Everything here is made to export standard. Yeah. So we export to 16 countries now. Wow. So whether we get an export order or we get a domestic order for Genesis, yeah. we pick it from here. Obviously, if it's, a, if it's a domestic order, it just goes out on the crew at the end of the day and you guys get it the next day always. Yeah, cool. Um, so tell us a little bit about the brand. Um, obviously, we've been working with you guys for about seven years now. It's a, it's a household name in the business. So tell us about why people love International Protein. Okay, a little bit about the branding. We started in 2001, so we're one of Australia's oldest brands. Yeah. We're one of the only brands in Australia that actually manufactures their own products. Wow. Uh, yeah. I think the reason people like it is they trust it, it mixes well, and we work really hard on getting the flavours good. Yeah. So that's probably the main reason. I'd like to say that everybody understood the brand that much, <laughs> but if people yeah. like it and the price is right, then yeah. you're sort of always, already halfway there. Yeah, yeah. that's a fair call. Yeah. So I guess uh, with any sort of protein powder, there's a lot of stuff that goes on um, in terms of manufacturing and process that people don't fully understand. So obviously things like the WPI, which is a really big seller for us, you know, a customer would see and just say, look, it's another way protein isolate. But can you tell us a little bit about what you guys do to make your product different from the other ones? Yeah, okay. With our WPI, it's certified grass-fed from New Zealand. It's from a company called Fonterra that's just rebranded itself to NZMP. Mm -hmm. You'll notice on our new packaging that's just launched a couple of weeks ago on the 1.25 size, we actually have their logos on our packaging. So that's their endorsement that they audit us and certify that we are using the yeah. products that, that we that we say. Yeah. Everything made here is made under not only a cancelled food license, which is mandatory, but we also have Safe Food Queensland. We have PASIP, GMP, and a dairy export license, which allows us to ship to the countries that, that we that we do, because shipping dairy products out of Australia, which is whey protein, which is your WPI and everything else we pretty much use, yeah. is a prescribed item, so it comes under a lot of rigors. So we get audited by a lot of third-party yeah. independent groups here, as well as a, well as three government third-party third, third party groups. Yeah, wow, that's, yeah. A, that's a fair <laughs> amount. Yeah, I can imagine like protein powders, you know, would, would require a lot of sort of quality control and yes. things like that. Um, I think for some, uh, you know, a brand as big as yourself, you know, you seem to take it that extra step in terms of, you know, you know that what quality is and you really want to deliver that to the customer. So yep. We were chatting before about how there were sorry, several thousand sort of supplies that you could get for whey protein, but you said that you've narrowed it down. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, look, for us, because um, here we have a very large facility. It's built, obviously, to service international protein as well as some contract customers. With international protein, we use NZMP, Fonterra products, basically because they're pasture-fed all year, all year round. There's no bovine growth hormone, there's no pesticides, there's no penicillin, there's nothing else in there that you really don't want. Yeah. So it's a fairly natural, natural product, but also what we find is it has a creamy, really, really nice, easy to mix note, yeah. and that helps our flavours. Obviously, you notice with some other products that come from other con countries, even within Australia, the products are very oversweetened, yeah. or yeah. they have an acidic note to them when you drink them, and that comes from either the pasture they eat or the manufacturing process. Yeah. So we use their products because people like our like our flavour and that's been yeah. a staple really since 2001 that people buy our products and go you're the best tasty. Cool so as you can see here there's a whole bunch of protein just sitting in bags. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the process between when you get the protein in and sort of how, when, when it gets made and then gets shipped out as yep. a complete product? So basically we get the raw ingredients in whether it be flavours, proteins, anything like that. We do um, a check on the certificate of analysis. Obviously, as you can see, the proteins here with allergen stickers because anything that's an allergen has to be identified. Yes, anything course. that's milk, egg, anything like that is obviously an uh, allergen. Yeah. So then it goes through our quality quality team. Yeah. Then we do what's called a batch document. We make the blend. Yeah. Then we take a sample out of that blend of roughly about 500 grams that we send away to a third party independent group that does the micro testing, the quality testing, all those things. Cool. That takes about three days to come back, so it's isolated to that point. Yeah. Then it gets put into our store to be able to go out. 
Cool. So, then we also keep a retention sample for two and a half years, which we do micro testing, flavor testing, everything at the end of that, because we put oh, two wow. years on our shelf life. Yeah. So we do our shelf life validation to make sure that the product is still as good as it's meant to be at the end of that shelf life. Obviously, if it's not, we'd have to bring that back. It's good that we don't <laughs> have that problem. Obviously here, as you can see, we've got um, a Jinomoto amino acid products as such. We exclusively use a Jinomoto in the international protein brand because all of the amino acids we buy from them are actually plant plant extracted by or based amino acids so they haven't been they haven't got the the starting agent for the amino acids uh, from human hair or duck feather or any animal matter or anything like that they're all actually extracted from plants and i guess that's a really big thing that people don't really know when they're purchasing you know your products as well as the extra added aminos i think it's something that consumers don't really often look too much into aside from like the protein content the carbs and the fat really on top of that so you know obviously aminos you're adding to a, a lot of your products so it's really cool to hear that you know that, that you're also in terms of your quality of production you're really looking at that and keeping yep. the, the customer in mind as well for that you know um i guess you could say you know a lot of people are looking you know a lot of people these days are looking to buy you know um sort of really bioavailable proteins and things like yep. that. So to know that this stuff here is all plant-based is, is a massive difference from yep. what, we're, what we've been used to. And definitely um, because obviously the brand was started with myself and Christine Emble, who is a Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology, but she's also, um, I suppose, Australia's best ever competitive female bodybuilder and, I, and IFWE pro. So yeah. she did a lot of the development, if not all the development on the ranges. Yeah, and, I, okay. and I did the smart talking, the sales. <laughs> so, but um, obviously she made the products that she would want to use as a professional athlete herself, and she adjusted the aminos according to the recovery ratios and things like that that she knew were knew would be best for what she needed yeah. for herself yeah. as well as other athletes but we obviously sell to a much larger group of people yeah you know. for sure yeah, yeah it's interesting that you touch on that because um can you run us through why you would need to add aminos to a protein powder? yeah let's say you've got wpi and it's a great protein everybody loves the flavor they love the mixability they love the fact that it's thin and it's really really quickly digested from 15 minutes to 45 minutes but it actually lacks enough arginine to be a true recovery product because you need, because you need the arginine to cause that growth hormone trip, yeah. natural growth hormone trip, let's say. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then um, we also believe it needs a little more glutamine than what's naturally occurring in it just to help your stomach lining because glutamine's eaten out of the body under times of stress. Yeah. You know, times of bad diet, you know, when you're weight training hard, when you're running hard, when you're doing anything really physically strenuous, yeah. you tend to burn up a lot of glutamine. It's the most abundant amino acid in the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we fortify that with enough that we think will recover you better. Yeah. Especially you know, if you're going like intense training and things like yeah. that is obviously very important. For As most people understand, caseins have a really almost a perfect amino acid sequence for recovery. Yes. But they digest over six or eight hours, so they just digest <laughs> digest so slow yeah. that you don't get the punch out of them that you need after strenuous exercise. Yeah. WPI does that, but we'll fortify it with almost the right ratio to make it a perfect recovery product. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> So do you make all this stuff here as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah and so obviously for us, you know, with the Brutal Energy, you know, it's got the tea cream in it. Yeah. It's got the green coffee bean extract, which really the caffeine works well with the tea yeah, cream, but the tea cream, you can use it for a hundred days straight. Yeah, and not. Three times a day and it doesn't yeah. downgrade in the body. Also lasts for seven hours in the system. Mm. So, yeah, so, you, so you don't get the crash. Yeah, I think a lot of people so, really don't know about that either. So yeah, so that obviously well. that's something where we need guys like you to help yeah. with that education. And then we've got yeah. the brutal pump. So yeah, obviously following on from like that conversation uh, with the, in regards to like your, you know, your plant-based aminos, we've got this um, product here, Amino Recovery. Now, a lot of people just think you do protein because it's called international protein but obviously you do other products as yep. well so tell us a little bit about the amino recovery you know what, what makes it such a great product okay what makes it a great great product is a lot of people focus purely on branch chains yep. obviously the latest research coming out is that branch chains are good because of leucine but they're not as good as people think yes. and you actually need your eaas your essential aminos which branch chains are part of yep. to actually fully recover so when you look at amino recovery it starts to digest in about 15 seconds and fully digest within 10 minutes yeah well 60 percent pepto pro which has a lot of research a lot of paper sort of technology yeah but behind it as such you know but the good thing about amino recovery is you have to look at like a whole protein okay so you wouldn't go and on a football field yeah and not have your winger and not have your sentiment yes but go oh we're done a play great 
Yeah. So if you really want to recover from strenuous exercise, you need all the aminos yeah. that you break down and all the aminos that you need to recover. Yes, of course. And these give you all of them, yeah. including the branch chains. Yeah. So it's sort of like, whilst for us, it's not a new product. It's been around for quite some time. Yeah. It's a product that's covering, I suppose, the new wave of people wanting to eat EAAs. Yes, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> this one's like an all-in-one. It's got your branch yep. chains in it and, and as well as the EAA. Yep. So someone who's looking for like a complete recovery product, you know that they can team up with their protein powder, yep. then this would be. Perfect. You know, and you drink it just like you drink cordial or anything else when you're training. Yeah. Just like people used to drink Extend. Yeah. But this is essential aminos, not just branch chains. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And again, like we were discussing before, these are obviously, you know, the aminos that you use from plant. And, Correct. You know, so yep. a lot more, you know, a high grade of quality yep. and a lot more bioavailable. Yeah. yeah. So you'll notice that with most of International Proteins products. Yeah. We're everywhere where a company will allow us, not all not all companies will. Mm -hmm. When we use their ingredients, yeah. we use them at the actual amount that they tell us to use them because of the studies that they've done. And they and for that, they allow us to use their logos. So like on this, we've got the Pepto Pro logo. Yeah. You'll notice on any of our pre-trainers, we use you know the Teocrine logos. Yeah. We, we, you know, we use the Hydromax logos because we're actually using it at the amount that the company has tested and said, this is the amount that you actually need. We don't just put a little ah, bit in there. I see. And then it. Yeah. yeah, so you're not just adding stuff here Correct. just for fun. Like what you've added to there is obviously scientifically dosed. There are studies what? behind yep. it and all the research is done. So 100%. Like, yeah, yeah, cool. That's awesome. Sweet guys, well, welcome to the lab here at International Protein. Um, it's exactly what it looks like. It's pretty crazy in here. It smells awesome. So tell us a little bit about this room, what goes on in here, and you know, all the things that, you know, that, that come from this process. Okay, so obviously, you know, we manufacture all of our own stuff. We develop all of our own stuff and do all of the R&D, the research and development. Yeah. So we're always getting presented a lot of ingredients, a lot of new products and you know, we always like to try to develop our flavours as good as we can. Yeah. So obviously we have a team here that will make up the product, put the flavours in and 99% of the time we'll reject them and keep on going through <laughs> until what you see come out, in, come out in public. But also what we do is we have to test every batch that we make. Yes. So the retention sample comes in here, then we send it away to a third party lab to have micro testing and all those sort of things done. Yeah. We do retentions, like shelf life retention yeah. testing. So that also comes back here to go back out and get tested. Yeah, cool. And what we also do, a little bit different than a lot of people, is we realize that most stuff that most people make is actually pretty safe to eat. Yeah. 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 That doesn't necessarily mean it tastes the way it's meant to taste. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. A micro test or a lab test will yeah. tell you the product's safe, it's not going to make you sick, but it won't tell you that one of your staff have left an ingredient out. Yes. So we mix it up, we taste it, we make sure it tastes the way it's meant to taste compared to a, a sample that will pass previously yeah, of course. before we release it for sale. Because not only do we check all the documents, yeah. but just as a second check, yeah. we make sure it is what it's meant to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so you've obviously brought out um, uh, a new flavour recently, which was your caramel popcorn, yep. right? So and it's been a massive hit. How long does it take to develop a new flavour, or what's the process behind bringing out something new like that? That's sort of a, how long's a piece of string. Okay. Sometimes you're lucky, and Sarah, who's a bit of a whiz with it, will talk about a flavour. Yeah. She'll bring me down to the lab and say, "There's four, and I'll say, "Bang." That's the one. Number three is the one. Yeah. Let's go. And other times, three months down the track, I'm like, oh, a little bit sweeter, a little bit this, a little bit that. A lot of it okay. depends on the flavor houses we use. Okay. Yeah. Some of them, you, you know, you'll, you'll give a flavor house a brief and you'll say, we're going for this sort of thing. Yeah. And they will send you 28 flavors that they think will match that. We oh, mix wow. it up in the powder. Yeah. And none of them are even close. They don't understand the brief you put forward. Okay. And other times, they'll come and actually present us a flavor and say, hey, we'll come up with this new flavor. Yeah. And we'll go, oh, that's amazing. We might launch that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, so it's not, as, not like, as simple as it just like, hey, I think we should make a new correct. flavor. Yeah. Oh, well, look, we've got a new flavor. Yeah. Oh, sometimes it's not that easy. You think, yeah. I want to bring out a pumpkin sp spice. Yeah. It's not a big flavor in Australia. We go to all of our local flavor houses that make flavors for us. Yeah. And say, so we want a pumpkin spice and everything we get just doesn't hit the mark and we go okay six months we're still not really getting there we might shell that <laughs> yeah and go on the more important work for a while i see yeah but yeah if we if we did put a time frame down we'd say on average it's about three months wow <laughs> yeah that's a lot of work huh yeah. yeah and i guess like going back to what we were discussing before like a lot of people love your product as well for the flavor you know yep. people love the way it tastes and you know they love the way the mix so this is where it all all happens yeah. here yeah so um in, in terms of like when you're mixing flavors and like when why, how do you think you've been so successful in, in creating such a, like a, a complete product that people love the flavour, they love the taste, you know, they love the results? How do you bring that all together? Well, I think it comes down to the basic fact that the, 
people who started the company actually ate product. Yes. We're not just investors. Obviously, I might not look like it now I'm getting old as much as I used to, but I still train five days a week and try. <laughs> um, but obviously, you know, Chris Lee was a competitive bodybuilder and ate, and, and, and ate pro, protein. Yeah. So not only was she a food scientist, mm -hmm. but her interest was actually in this industry. Yeah. So not just biochemists or yeah. scientific scientifically based people yep. who want to create the best product you can create yep. but aren't invested in actually eating the product. Yes. If we launch something, we eat it ourselves five times a day. Yeah. So we come to that with that sort of passion. Yeah, cool. So you're very involved in the process, you know, from what we've discussed today, right from sourcing the raw materials, the quality control, you know, coming through here, seeing the flavors, the production, all of that. Like you obviously have like quite a five star sort of level to the way that you run things. I think it really shows through when it comes, you know, people, store sales, you know, people come in and they ask for your yep. product. So um, yeah, that's really cool to see how this side of how things works and that, you know, obviously your hard work and pays off. And it's cool having people that are, you know, that people like yourself who have, you know, you live, the, this is your lifestyle, you know, so you know, you, you love taking protein powder, you know, you work out, you know, um, and I guess it does make a massive difference between just say, you know, if we've got a couple of scientists in here and said, hey, can you make us a protein powder that's gonna, you know, that's gonna get someone jacked, you yep. know, in six weeks or something like that. So it's really cool that you're involved across the whole process and that you're emotionally invested as well as not only, you know, just owning the business as you're all Look, awesome. and definitely if there's one thing I can say, yeah. we launch products that we definitely eat ourselves and yeah. we don't launch things that we don't think should be in the market. Mm -hmm. So you won't see a super mass gainer from us that's 12% protein. Yeah. That you know, Special K's got 18% protein or something. You just yeah. have a good serve of fiber and Special K. <laughs> products that we launch, we believe there's a place for them and they should be on the market. Cool, so International Protein has been around for a little while, something like 19 years now, yep. is that right? Yeah. So, Give us a bit of background into the company. Where, where did it all start? How did the idea come about? And tell us about a little bit about the growth that you've experienced up until now. Okay, it started in two in two thousand and one. Yeah. The reason it started is because at that time Christine was getting asked by a lot of companies that already existed in Australia. Yeah. If she could help them with flavour work and stuff like that, because obviously she had an interest in protein, sports supplements, things like that, and yeah. she was a and she was a food scientist. Oh wow. So cool. from that. Yeah. You know, we knew quite a few shops. We used to attend a lot of shows, yeah. things like that. And they're all like, why don't you have your own brand? Why don't you have your own brand? Those shops didn't stop me for five or seven years after we launched, <laughs> but they gave us the passion to sort of launch it. Yeah, and, and we grew from there for really for the first five years. Yeah. Kristen did a lot of the technical back end as such, mm -hmm. and I did the front of house sales, you visiting shops, you know, building gotcha. relationships, you know, yeah. with guys, guys like guys like you. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Then we sort of got to a phase because at that stage we were using a contract manufacturer. Yeah. That we decided to manufacture our own because we wanted to control the quality. Yeah. And we'd also grown to a size where we were struggling to find one manufacturer that wanted to make all the powder we wanted. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. From that, we took it on. In that year, we had 340% growth. It was a good time in the industry. Yeah. Wow. And we and, and we grew from there. Now we actually have 45 staff. Wow. So, you know, we're sort of proud of that. Everybody's a full-time employee. They've gone through a lot of courses. A lot of um, 19 of our staff just finished a university course. Yeah, cool. the end of The end of last year. Yes, right. Yeah, we do run a little bit on lean manufacturing process here. So, yeah. you know, we don't have too many people that overlap or double up. Mm. But, you know, we have a very dedicated, friendly, yeah, good at what they do mm. group of individuals here. Yeah, you know, we also you know, look after obviously 16 countries with their export now and that yeah. comes with its own little challenges, a lot of yeah, for in sure. inquiries explain the products, thing, things like that. Yeah, but it's awesome to see that you've, you know, you've got a massive facility here where you can, you know, you can say that you what quality control, you know, you produce your own product, you know, it's all here and then you ship it directly out of here. You know, and from that, you know, you you are one of the biggest brands in Australia. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think we've, um, over the last 21 or 19 years, I yeah. should say, yeah. we um, have become a probably a household name most in definitely. the yeah. supplement industry. We stock most of the big accounts, we actually stock 3,800 accounts Australia-wide, yeah, wow. which is a fairly good market footprint here. Yeah. And like I say, we're sort of punting off into a lot of countries now as well, which, yeah. which is getting its own momentum as well which is really good to think that you know each country we bring on we get to employ five or six more people here you know give a lot of local local people jobs so there you have it guys the international protein facility uh thanks uh troy for showing us around and much appreciated it's awesome having a little bit of insight to the company and you know getting to know what you guys really do you know and i'm sure our viewers here will really appreciate you know your information and sort of what you shared with us today no i appreciate you coming by josh i hope i didn't bore anybody too much obviously this has been um, a big chunk of my life and it's really good to be able to share it with you guys. Awesome. Thanks so much, mate. Have a good one.